Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at more rules of differentiation. Okay, we're going to look at the trigonometric differentiation, which is a fancy word basically for how to differentiate sine, cos, and tan. Okay, so hopefully you all remember these from trigonometry. Um, they're all fairly handy, so in this video, we're just going to go through the kind of the theory, and we're going to look at some examples later, okay? So basically, if you have something that says y is equal to sine of x, then your dy dx will just be equal to cos of x. Okay, simple enough. So it's always like that. It always goes from sine x to cos x, okay? Um, if we have y is equal to cos of x, then your dy dx will be equal to minus sine of x, okay? So remember that that minus there is a little bit tricky, it can be confusing, but it is in your log tables, so we actually recommend not to try and learn it off and just always check your log tables just in case. So if, when you differentiate cos, it goes to minus sine, okay? Um, that's all it is, it'll, it'll make more sense once you do some actual examples with it, but that's all there is to it. And then tan is a bit weird, so when you differentiate tan, if u of y is equal to tan of x, then your dy dx will be equal to 1 over cos squared of x. Okay, so this one's a little bit weird. Don't worry about it, really. They don't ask it as often as they ask the cos and sine. But if they do ask it, it's just equal to 1 over cos squared of x, okay? Uh, and I'll just make one line over here. i make one last point. That if they say something like y is equal to 2 cos of x, then your dy dx will just be equal to 2 multiplied by whatever your differentiation of cos of x is. So it's minus sine of x, so that means dy dx is just equal to minus 2 sine of x. Okay, so that's all there is to it about differentiating trigonometric functions. Um, I hope it made sense and we're going to keep going with more differentiation rules.